we'll just put the mine the mine trunks in. I remember a lot of this is going to be covered with um with the leaves. Stick another one in there. And if I just switch to the rigger, back into the same colour, plenty of water now because this rigger brush, there's not much airs on it, so you need plenty of water, so otherwise it just uh, the paint runs out very quickly. And I'm just gonna put a load of uh, Load of branches on this, but remember, a lot of this is going to be painted over with the leaves. I'll do for that now. I'm going to clean the uh, clean the brush, and I want to get a nice sort of. Um, Autumn, autumn goldy colour. Not gold, but that that sort of dead leaf, dying leaf, sort of ready, raw sienery, ready sort of colour. So I'm going to mix those two colours. Maybe a touch of pine's grey as well, just to really darken it. I'm sort of going into light red, ultra um, burnt umber, Payne's grey, even a touch of ultramarine really helps darken it as well. It's a very dry brush, so you end up with lots of little holes that you can see through. And then, don't want too many leaves this far down, but. So it's painted over most of the uh, the limbs we were putting on, but you can still see plenty of background through it. That's that's the uh, the main part that I'm trying to achieve. If your um if your brush is too wet, you'll just block it all in. So I think. That'll do for that, I think. Maybe even a little, just a touch of on the ground. Now the, uh, I'll get on the left next. So I'm going to, similar sort of colours. And then just using the corner of the brush, and we're right up to the top now. Back to the rigger. A few little branches sticking out between the uh, If you if you scrape out too much, just just paint over it. What you don't like. I 
Yeah, I don't want to do too much. I'm overdoing the scraping now because I've already scraped out some rocks and those. I don't want to sort of get too crazy. So I'm just going to clean the brush now because it's gone a bit muddy. And there's another bush on the left. I might. I'm going to do this one a different colour. Make this one more more sort of green. There's a few more uh, leaves living on this one, I think. And I'll do it a bit lower. Should I do it lower? Yeah, I'll do it a bit lower down. Again, just using the corner. Just switching from colour to colour. Bit of red. But again, just to cut. Because the brush is not too wet, it doesn't just... Just puts a little bit on at a time. Try and get a maybe get a lighter colour down there just for some contrast. Dark a bit down there. I think I'm a uh Happy with that, I don't want to overdo it now. Back to the rigger. A couple of little birds. Just make sure my hand's not wet. Colour on the brush. Oh, Put your signature in the corner. And I'll call that one finished. So there we got the finished painting. You can see I've tried to create that light effect going down the middle, and what the the tree sort of almost sort of silhouetted against it. Changed it a bit from the photograph. You can see how, um, how I've cut right down on the, those trees in the middle of the painting, stop it from being so cluttered. I've tried to make the uh, the path uh, a bit more interesting. See, it's a lot more windy now. Just makes a bit more of a pleasing composition, I think. You can't see any reflections in the picture in the photo. But just uh, putting a few reflections down in the water it definitely helps bring the bring the, the water to life a little. I think. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.